Hello everyone. Thank you for joining us once again on the channel. We'd like to say a very big welcome to each and every one of you. If you are joining us for the very first time, please do well to like, share and subscribe to our channel. Now to all of our existing subscribers, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up on our post as they come your way. Thank you and God bless you. Now on today's report, President Buhari speaks on the Naira redesign policy after Tinubu's victory. Now President Muhammadu Buhari on Thursday has revealed while the Naira redesign policy was introduced. Um, we see President Muhammad Buhari speaking on the Naira redesign policy and on Thursday was revealing why the Naira redesign um, was um, introduced. According to the president, he said that the policy was not introduced to actually cause the hardship that we face in the country right now, um, which people had seen in the past months, the hardship that um, Nigerians have faced due to the scarcity of the new Naira notes and uh, the struggle to be able to even get their old Nairas to the bank. And uh, even with after the elections, we still see the struggle. You still see um queues, long queues at banking halls. Um, you still see the unavailability of um, the automated teller machines to distribute money to the Nigerian people. Um, you go to various ATMs and you cannot still get cash. You go to even all the POS um, vendors, you can't get cash. You hardly get cash at the bank. Even when you get to the bank, the queue is so massive that sometimes you're just discouraged and you end up going back home without anything and we see that nigerians are still facing the hardship and um, we're calling on the federal government to please do something about it um the general elections are over i know we're still faced with the governorship election and all of that but um the cash flow um should be eased on nigerians nigerians are actually facing a lot of hardship you go to our uh, marketplaces and the uh, market women can't trade they can't buy they can't sell because there is no cash for people to be able to do exchange of goods and services well we're going to go into the details now and let's see um what president muhammadu buhari says on the naira resident policy and what his revelations on how or so why the policy was um introduced in the country now, President Muhammadu Buhari on Thursday has revealed why the Naira redesign policy was introduced. The president, who apologized to Nigerians, said that the policy was not introduced to cause hardship in the country. Now, President Muhammadu Buhari stated this as after the All Progressives Congress APC's presidential candidate Ashiwa Jubola Ahmed Tinubu was declared as the president-elect. Now, there had been claims that the policy was introduced to hinder Ashiwa Jubola Tinubu from actualizing his presidential ambition. Now, recall that the governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, Godwin Emefiele, in October 2022, announced the plan to redesign the 200 Naira, 500 Naira, and the 1,000 Naira notes. Now, the Apex Bank fixed February the 10th as the deadline for the use of the old Naira notes, which led to the scarcity of the currency. Now, President Buhari in a video clip which was posted um, on Twitter by the governorship candidate of the All Progressives Congress, APC, in Kaduna, Uba said that the policy was meant to boost the economy. He said, I apologize to you for the hardship which was caused by the change in the Naira redesign. It was done to boost the economy of the country 
and not to cause hardship to anybody. The president has also called on the residents of Kaduna State to vote for Sani as the governor of the state. President Muhammadu Buhari said, First of all, I want to once again thank you for the confidence that you have in me by electing me president on the platform of our party, the All Progressives Congress. I want to use this opportunity to inform you that Ubasani is our candidate for the governorship election in Kaduna State. I am begging you to vote for him and all all progressive Congress candidates for the House of Assembly to help him work. Uba is a leading member of this journey. We worked together in the Senate and he demonstrated capacity and competence. He will perform better than expected. Kaduna is home to me. Therefore, I urge you all to vote for Ubasani and all our APC candidates for the State House of Assembly elections. Now we see the president um, apologizing to Nigerians and um, letting them know that um, the cash um, crunch, the Naira redesign, which we've been facing for the past months, was actually not intentionally done to cause hardship on anybody. And according to him, he said that um, the Naira redesign was mainly because um, we wanted a boost in the economy and it was done so that the economy could be boosted. Now, if we recall, there had been a lot of speculations um, surrounding the Naira redesign policy. Um, a lot of people um, did say that, oh, it was meant at um, hindering Ashwaju Bola Tinubu from actualizing his presidential ambition. Um, a lot of people, there were a lot of speculations, oh, it was meant to curb politicians from vote buying. It was meant to curb um, politicians from rigging elections. It was meant to curb political parties from rigging elections. And a whole lot of other allegations, a whole lot of other speculations unfounded speculations but now we see the president coming out to say that um, it was mainly just for economical boost and we see him apologizing to nigerians and also to the people of kaduna state he was urging them to vote for the apc candidates um, and the House of Assembly members come March 11 when the governorship and state House of Assembly elections will be held. Well, that's all we can take on um, the details of today's report. Until we come your way next time, please do well to stay safe. Bye-bye.